We actually set out a framework uh, for the new council, operating far more on sort of cooperative uh, principles than was the case previously. It was quite an old fashioned inward looking council and we said we wanted to be outward looking to engage with our communities, to do that in a consensual and cooperative way, uh, to make sure we, we were being as effective as possible as the local community voice. We also felt that it was important that we became an enabling council rather than trying to do things ourselves. Uh, we need to make sure that we're engaging lots of community groups and individuals in, in doing uh, positive things for the town. So we're doing with our community rather than doing to our community. Uh, and that uh, principle has held across the council regardless of political position. Twenty-two councillors in a town of 28,000. We don't have all the ideas and all the enthusiasm uh, that uh, putting together collectively our residents have, nor do we have the capacity to make all of the changes that we want to do. So we've been calling on residents and, uh, uh, and community groups to work together productively. So, for, for example, uh, the town council has run a successful play in the park scheme uh, across the town during the summer holidays. We're now engaging with our community organisations and local businesses to provide that, uh, that service. Um, the people on the ground don't necessarily know who's providing the service and so we're able to facilitate that work going on. Um, uh, we want to become a dementia friendly town so that we're supporting people who are suffering from dementia and their carers and ensuring that businesses are um, accessible to those individuals and meeting uh, their needs. We've got lots of little groups springing up. So for example, a local church group who've been working on environmental issues um, we're interested in the fact that we unanimously supported a climate emergency motion and want to engage with us and, and uh, harness that enthusiasm across the whole town. So we've got a climate emergency group starting to emerge. We're engaging with young people. We've set up a youth advisory group with our two local high schools and are asking young people to come and tell us what they think and what they would like to uh, the council to do, but not just what they'd like the council to do, but what they can bring to the table themselves and do for themselves. Um, we've also got a planning and advisory group and planning can often be the most contentious issue as far as town councils are concerned as we're consultees to the planning authority but again we want to pull the people in with a range of views and develop a consensus so that we're all singing from the same hymn sheet and to take some of the um, if you like the uh, uh, differences of opinion and, and form a general view across the whole town that represents not just the loudest voices but residents across the town um, we're at an early stage we're less than a year into uh, being a new council, we're less than a year into being members of the Cooperative Council's Innovation Network, but we think we've made some real positive changes working with our communities together to create our better Burntwood. I've been a cooperative party member for a very long time and subscribed to those cooperative values. Uh, and when I was leader of the opposition group at Staffordshire County Council, we were one of the first opposition groups to join as an associate member uh, the CCIN. Uh, you know, I've always been impressed by the ways cooperative councils are dealing with issues that are common to all councils across the country and the way they could share ideas and so on and um, we incorporated many cooperative principles into our manifesto for the county council but when I became leader of Burntwood Town Council uh, last May with a new council I thought this was a, a way that I could really implement uh, cooperative values in setting up the new council um, uh, and we're, we're a, a quite a large parish council in Staffordshire, about 28,000 residents in our town. Um, 
We've got a town council with a gross budget of around £400,000, which compared to lots of bigger councils, of course, is quite small, but it means that we can make a difference in our town and we can certainly make a cooperative difference uh, to the town. From my perspective, being a cooperative council operates on two levels, both within the council and more broadly outside the council across our community. It's about using all of the skills and interests and expertise of our individual members and um, uh, giving them the opportunity to go into their own wards, into their own small little part of the town and to look at what cooperative opportunities there are, what groups are operating in your um, area, what individual residents uh, are showing an interest in the way the council can help them promote um, different ways of working. It's actually giving permission to all councillors to work in their own area but work collectively as a town so that they can bring ideas and we'll share them and, and debate them outside the, uh, the council, that translates into uh, working cr uh, creatively and constructively with community groups and individuals and encouraging new groups to take on and promote their own ideas. So we can facilitate that work going on. We don't have to do it directly. We only have a small staff of four, uh, but it means that we're actually pulling people in and giving them permission to, to explore lots of ways that they can work alongside their neighbours uh, to, to create a better Burntwood. And that's our hashtag, better Burntwood. We want to see a better Burntwood. important for us as a small town council to be part of a much wider network and to share those ideas and, and views of councils and councillors across the whole country uh, and that uh, that working together sharing ideas is actually cooperation in action uh, and it gives us lots of opportunities to think about the way we can promote cooperative values and cooperative working in our town and to good effects.